Hello everyone, Pretty Scooter here. Welcome back to more Twilight Princess. Last time, we saved Midna. She can now exist in the world of light. But unfortunately, we lost the title drop. Wait, we've lost the title drop. Zelda is no more. Okay, bad, uh, bad exuberance aside. Let's, nope. Well, that's not the one I'm at the hit. <clears throat> That's not the one I meant to hit. I meant to hit warp, because now that we're doggo, we can warp anywhere in the world. Doesn't matter if it's light or dark. And because we have to go back to the Farron Woods. Uh, not that one. Is it here? Yes, it is. Because it is the Farron Woods, we want to look we basically want to warp as close to the temple as possible for the next segment of all this. Now we're at a point, we're very close to a point in the game right now where we get to do a whole lot of side quests. Like, a whole bunch of side quests are about to open up to us. But fortunately, and unfortunately, we do have to go through... We do have to go through some of this stuff here before we can actually... You know, actually obtain that stuff. Hello, monkey! You're back! Oh, monkey, you have problems! Also, I hope that's not... Glitching out on your guys then. I'm noticing some lines going through, but I hope it's not showing up. Oh, dang it. Hello once again, monkey. How are you this fine day? I don't remember your voice. I gave you voice. Did, did you save me? Thank you. Listen, you're such a nice. Let me help you with something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of the cliff. Ah, I see what it is. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. What's in those woods anyway? Death. But yes, uh, well, now that we're at this point, we basically want to use Midna. Let's actually forge beyond the cliff. All right, Link, let's go. Well, as much as it might sh show that there is this, and uh, that's bugging me. You know, it's bugging me enough. I've gotta, I'm gonna fix this. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I think I just had a little bit of a snafu. Minna? Minna, where we Can we not progress forward? Oh, there it is. It had to get really close here. A little bit of snafu. I've had my uh, capture running, capture card running for quite some time today. It's been kind of working over time. Anyway. Uh, oh, thank you, Winds. Thank you, Wind of Fate. Always turning in my favor. Now we just have to play the waiting game. Of course, we'll be able to hand we'll be, we'll be able to go back to this area with much greater ease in the future. But right now, I mean, right now all we have is doggo. So we have to just hope the game paints a path for me. Hey, look, a windstone. I like these things. I don't remember the song. Okay, hold on, I think I got it. That was enough. I goofed it up so hard, but that was enough. Fantastic. Fantastically failed. Hello? Hello again, my good puppy friend. Let us let us howl together. I don't know what song that is out of the out of the lineup. Maybe I'll hear it better. Oh, this is the Prelude of Light. -na 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 -na. Tells you how often I use the Prelude of Light when I when I, the one time I played Ocarina of Time. Ah, yes. I am outing myself very handily. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and fight me. But okay. I'll see you later. Unfortunately, I need to acquire sword in hand, and unfortunately, I cannot put sword in hand due to the lack of opposable thumbs. You are outside of Hyrule Castle once again. You're in the fields at Hyrule Castle. What is this? Why? Where, where are all these clock things? These look like clocks to me. They may be. Unless they're high- no. Hmm. Questions, Bonita. 
Anyway, now that we've done that somewhat important thing, we're going to head into a new area of Farron Woods. Which, where the Master Sword always sleeps, is canonically the Lost Woods. The Sacred Grove, I guess, is what it's called in this game. But it's always the Lost Woods. You know, a Zelda staple. Excuse me. Hello. Ah. Anyway, hold on. Link, stop. I need to hear it. Uh. Okay, I had to press B to stop it. Yeah, Zelda's lullaby. Is that enough? I guess not. That was barely enough. I should listen to it more thoroughly to actually get the timing. Nah, who needs to learn timing? Who needs to pay attention in a video game and learn timing? That's poppycock! Said the 300th person who plays video games for the internet not paying attention enough to a game. Yes, I'm calling myself out and others. How could you tell? Hi! Aren't you terrifying? So welcome to the gimmick of this area. Is... I think the accepted theory, or maybe this is an actual theory, but that uh, that is that is a Skull Kid. Now you can beat up the goons if you wish. Because we've already fought them before, but the whole thing is you want to chase down the Skull Kid. Thankfully all these... Wooden puppets just go down one hit. And when you hear the trumpet in the background, you can tell he's nearby. Just hit him once, and then he'll uh, continue the chase, as they say. Now, I, I want to say in the original release of the game, they made a they made a much worse uh, they made a lot less effort to like show you the proper way the skull gets started running. But I think they did a better job in this game. But yeah, just kind of pay attention to your surroundings. Notice, notice when doors are open, new doors open, and when new old doors close. Well, they won't, they won't close, but just take note of when doors open. Uh. Huh. Oh. Haha. <laughs> but what if I looked here? Wait. Someone tells me he's in this room. Okay. Like, I don't know the exact layout of this place, but I can always make educated guesses. Hello? I'm in water. This should not be allowed. Whatever. No. No. Do not. You gremlin child. Stop blowing your... I don't know what I want to call that. I don't, I don't want to call it what I'm thinking of calling it, but I don't know what I want to... But I don't want to know what to call it. I anyway, appreciate sure he went up through this one. Which means he went up. I That also tells me that I went the wrong way. Is there even another way? No, there's not. Now, I don't think it's going to do the thing that it did in Ocarina of Time, where it's just like, if you're closer to him, it will play a sound in the tunnel. Uh, that door's closed. That door's closed. So, keep running this way. There he is, up there. So there's got to be a way up there. Some back way up there, hold on. Oh, that's the path I tried to go on earlier, actually. Okay. It's a game of, it's a game of cat and mouse. Unfortunately, I'm very bad at that game. Mainly because I can't touch cat. See what I did there? It's a callback to, it's a callback to an unfortunate bit I made earlier. Here he is. Just gonna keep mashing an A button so I can dash at him. Run hands, my guy! I broke your puppets. Well, at least he's going through places I can pick out better. Stone doors. Oh, he threw me on the ground. Hey, he dropped... Oh, there was a rupee, but I don't think I can get at it. I think it's up there. Huh. This is nice. 
Hi, how's it going? Is this your arena? Is this where we f throw down? Is this where you're gonna just throw down and stop running? How are you making that much noise? You're so spindly. Anyway, I don't know what the exact strategy is for this guy. And somebody in the comments, of course, I always call the comments if they want to correct me. I want to say the strategy for this guy is to... I want to say the, the strategy for this guy is to destroy his minions. And then when he's resummoning his minions. Or when he goes to, or he attempts to resummon his minions, just go after him. Do it. What do you... Okay. Uh... Get up there. There. Like that. You basically just... Like I said, you want to just destroy his minions, and then when they... When he goes to recall them, just, uh... Do it. Attack them. I think that's the way you're supposed to do it. Okay, now which... Where is he? There he is. Wait for the horn to... Hey! You know This works. Don't worry about targeting so much in this fight, because it's just going to hurt you more. It's going to help you, because he summons so many puppets. In this case, seven. Oh, hey, look at all the hearts. Actually, it's a bad idea to do what Minna suggests. Although, it does kind of help get rid of dudes. Oh, he's summoning more. Hold on, get over there. Dang it. Dang it, I missed him. Oh, are you done? Okay. Uh, well, that's not gonna work. Minna, this is a poor decision de idea to give me. Although, at least they drop a lot of hearts. Go away. Hi, how's it going? How's it going? Uh, have you are you done summoning your dudes? Hey, wait. Where did you go? I still wanted to play some more. <laughs> Bye. Weird creature. Anyway. I'm gonna get a heart or two, because that beat me up more than I'd rather... Uh, more than I would like to admit. Also, I looked over the side to, like, get a peek at the map, and my... The Wii U pad, like, fade out. I was like, oh, wait, but, but, uh, but, uh, but, but. Anyway, uh, I think in this area, I will tell you that there is a... Actually, in this area, there are bugs you can get in this area. But I don't think we can reach it right now, because it's... Yeah, it's up there. So yeah, we can't reach that bug yet. But this is also your way out of the area, I believe, uh, later on. Or a way to another part of the area later, I should say. But first, we have to do... Ah, yes. We have to... We have to... Howl Zelda's Lullaby. Or, you know, I, I stopped myself from saying things. We must, uh, do, we must do the song of simping for Zelda. Man, I don't know if it's just me, but I always feel like, you know, when there's a Zelda game that changes how Zelda is in the material. Because, like, all the time it's like Zelda's always there watching. Ooh. Like, it's fine, that's how Zelda's always been, but I love games that are just like, Zelda's not there, or Zelda's there. Oh, by the way, she's actually literally at your side. Those kind of games are always fun. We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter... The true sacred grove. Okay. So it's a puzzle game. It's a puzzle game where the mechanics are one one of these guys will jump the same direction you do. The, uh, one of these guys will jump the opposite direction you do. And at any time you can press A to redo. So I think there is a simple solution to this, to this puzzle. I think it's to actually get one of these guys stuck in a corner. And then uh, run around. Like, a very... 
a very common, like, failing of this is that... A very common failing for this puzzle is that, like... Like I said, very common feeling. Uh, not that way. Let's see if I can do a loop with them. I think I'm gonna, I think I actually have them in a literal loop. But I will say, like, this is a common fault uh, shortcoming that a lot of people who play who play this game on the line have. I will probably be, myself be included in the statistic. Yeah, because I got to figure out how to get this guy up. Okay, I'm going to try something here. So again, like I said, I will cut this out if I goof up too much. So do this. Now this is, this, I think there's multiple solutions to this puzzle. I can't go up any further. I think I'm right back to where I started, actually. No, 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 I don't think I am. All I remember about this puzzle is that you want to get the one of these guys stuck in a corner and just kind of complete, like, complete, keep doing a circle motion with them. Can I go down? No, I cannot. Did I just trap myself? Okay. Let me just come back with you when I actually figure it out. got it yep okay that's got it I probably sped that up but just jump right and solution took me about three tries it's a simple uh, puzzle in concept but in practice not so much go now to the sacred place beast we yield passage to the sacred grove. Thanks! I'll use it wisely. Will you use it wisely? No! Well, there it is. It's the Master Sweard. Like a focal point of every Zelda game. Master Sweard. Accept your destiny as the one true king. That was in my head? Who put that in my head? All oh, right. Jackass with a snake mouth. Well, I think that just completes the cycle. This just further exemplifies the point that this is the next incarnation of Link with that. Sword accepted you as its master? Yes. I am its master. Only me. And not my other me's. Well, now what? This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. It's definitely f not from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back to a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? 
But on the other hand, if we keep it, you'd be able to transform into beast any time you want it. Yes, since that was kind of to give it to us, we should be thankful and use it all we can. If you need it, just call me. I want to keep a low profile, so I'll hide in your shadow when you're a human. And But I can change you whenever. You could be a wolf anytime you like. Also, thanks to this thing, you can now warp whenever you want by switching to wolf form. Hey, but listen, Link. I've got a little favor to ask you. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight. Our last potential link to Zant. You know you, Gremlin. Why not? I've been with you this far. Why don't Why don't we go get that thing? Sorry, but Midnight is a lovable gremlin. Anyway, we are now human again. And with this, we can kind of go about and do our business as we wish. Now, one thing I wish to do before... Because I am going to end the episode here in just a second. But one thing I want to do is to get that thing I was telling you about. Bug. We're going to do... We can do a little more with the bugs now. We can do a little more with the bugs now. Although we cannot complete all the bug quests still up to this point but just know that we'll be back later for the other half of that snail but do know it's gonna be a long time before we see that other snail anyway with this i uh i think we're good for now so everyone i do want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of twilight princess and come back next time when we get to Go around Hyrule again with our hookshot and with uh, wolf form and hey, there's pose to find. Oh, God help me. I'll see you folks next time. Take care.